This is what happens when we allow cancel culture and the PC police to take over our country where you have freedom of speech, or at least we used to. Speaking of people being attacked by the left for their beliefs, for their freedom of speech, for standing by their convictions, it leads me to our next guest. This is a man who knows all too well about the pitfalls of supporting our president. But you know what? He doesn't care about the attacks, about the negative publicity, about the threats on his life. Why? Because he is a true patriot who is standing by his convictions, Georgia State Representative and Democrat. I might add, you saw him speak at the RNC convention. Welcome to Real America, Mr. Vernon Jones. <laughs> How you doing, Vernon? We had to get that uh, little animation and music in there because we are calling you our patriot tonight in our patriot report because you, sir, after I have seen what you have come out and said and done on behalf of the president and this country and the flack you have taken from the left and your own party is absolutely appalling and disgusting. And for that, sir, I say you are a patriot. How you doing tonight? I'm doing fine. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate being on your show and all the best to you on your new show. Oh, thank you, Vernon. Um, so let's just get it out there. You're, you've been a Democrat for how long? All my life. And you came out a while back. This has now been a couple months, I think, since you made the, the big coming out speech and then you were invited to the RNC. What has life been like since you went against your party's narrative? Because, of course, the big narrative this week is that Trump's a racist. They said that all of 16. Now they've popped it back up. We're 30 some days away. So of course they're hitting that. But you have had to take so much just backlash from you coming out and saying this is the right guy for the job for the next four years. Tell us how life has been over the last few weeks. Well, first of all, I am a lifelong Democrat, but I've always enjoyed um, bipartisan support and working on both sides of the aisle. Um, I've always been an independent thinker independent voter. I've supported uh, other Republican presidential candidates, for example, George W. Bush. Um, what made this difference different is the media, the liberal media, is so Trump deranged. And when you look at African Americans like me and others who were independent thinkers with conservative leanings to come out for Donald Trump, it's like suicide. They're doing everything they can using their agent provocateurs to uh, slam our reputations, to call us out, say that we're not valuable, we're not valued in the Democratic Party, we don't share the Democratic Party's values. And you know what? They're right, because I don't share their values, because Joe Biden is the racist. Uh, Joe Biden has a track record of doing nothing for African Americans. The Democratic Party has taken our vote for granted over the past 47 years. And what do you have to show for it? Nothing other than a Joe Biden who's saying, look, if you don't vote for him, you ain't black. Well, saying you ain't to me, that's bigoted because he's trying to, I guess, talk jive talk. I, I don't talk jive talk. Uh, secondly, for him to think that me as a captive audience or black people as a captive audience, period, should be voting for him just because we're black, that is real bigoted. That, that is real racist. But the liberal media will give him a pass and they want to call President Trump a racist. Let me tell you, President Trump has done more across the, across the board from every category, but certainly... And in particularly, he has done what Democrats have failed to do, and that is support a black agenda through education, historical black colleges, through prison reform, where Joe Biden passed that crime bill that locked up so many African Americans, uh, to uh, opportunity zone districts, and many, many more things. This president uh, is about making sure that anybody who wants to work in this country, start a small business, grow your business, um, have your independent freedoms and liberties, and civil liberties as well. Uh, this president is for that. So I support him. He's about results. He gets results. Yeah. What do you think a <laughs> Biden versus Trump presidency over the next four years as we try to get out of this economic downturn, thanks to COVID, uh, and let's throw the blame where it lies. Thank you, China. Um, what do you think the massive differences would be if the American people go with Biden versus Trump, especially when it comes to the economy? Well, if you look at Joe Biden's campaign now, it's been run like a Joe Biden's personality, in the basement, doing nothing, um, no, act, no, no animation, no energy, no effort. Um, and other people are pulling his chain. Uh, when you look at Donald Trump, Donald Trump is on the move. He's on the move addressing the COVID issues. 
He's on the move addressing his economy, opening up doors, getting people back to work, uh, opening schools. He's pushing to get schools open because kids want to get back in classrooms. The virtual uh, tutoring is just not working for kids. This president, at the same time, is letting those world leaders know you're going to pay your fair share. Um, we're not going to be under attack by an unfair, unfair trade. This president is about action. He's about movement. And give him four more years, and I can tell you this, um, four more years of Donald Trump, you think we've seen something. Uh, this country will, really will be a lot farther along economically, uh, socially. Um, we'll be safer, stronger, and we'll be better under Donald Trump. You know, one thing I'm really worried about, Vernon, is China. I mean, Speaker Pelosi even came out the other day, and other Democrats have said China would prefer a Biden presidency. Doesn't that scare the hell out of you? <laughs> it does me. Well, I think it shows their hands. Uh, it shows that China is trying to help Joe Biden's campaign out. Why aren't they asking for an investigation of that? <laughs> China knows that Joe Biden is weak. He's soft as toilet paper. Uh, let's be honest. President Trump will stand up uh, to the president of China, hold him accountable, not only on fair trade, but on, on them and their theft of, of uh, intellectual properties, among other things. China is afraid. The world is afraid of Donald Trump because he doesn't back down. He does what he said he's going to do, and they can't manipulate him. Joe Biden has been manipulated all of his 47 years in office, and he's still being manipulated, whether it's from the vice president's office or when he or being in his basement now. He's still being manipulated. They are afraid of Donald Trump. And yes, Putin wants Joe Biden. All the world leaders want Joe Biden because what? America takes a back seat, man. Yeah, well, we all know. He, along with Bush, Republicans and Democrats alike over the last few decades, have fleeced out our nation. They were all for globalization. And when a President Trump steps in and says, I'm putting America first, that not only scares Democrats and some Republicans who have filled their pockets, but also other nations who have made billions off of our country. So, of course, I agree with you, Vernon. I think everybody on almost all sides do, doesn't, doesn't want to see another four years of President Trump except the American people and American workers. Uh, I want you to stay with me. I want to play something real briefly here because I want our viewers, and hopefully this will get spread and shared because I know that maybe some of the folks on the middle of the road on the fence didn't watch the RNC convention, but I want to play a clip of your speech, if you don't mind, and then we'll come back for a few more questions, okay? So let's roll that, guys. Hello, America. My name is Vernon Jones, and I'm a state representative from the great state of Georgia. As you can see, I'm a man of color, and I'm a lifelong Democrat, too. You may be wondering, why is a lifelong Democrat speaking at the Republican National Convention? And that's a fair question. And here's your answer. The Democratic Party does not want black people to leave their mental plantation. We've been forced to be there for decades and generations. But I have news for Joe Biden. We are free. We are free people with free minds. And I'm part of a large and growing segment of the black community who are independent thinkers, and we believe that Donald Trump is the president that America needs to lead us forward. This is no time for sleeping in the basement. Joe Biden has had 47 years to produce results. But he's been all talk and no action, just like so many of the Democrats who've been making promises to the black voters for decades. And I wanted, I'm so glad it ended right there where you said promises for decades. Uh, I don't recall this professor's name, but Vernon, a couple of weeks ago uh, during our first week of broadcast here at Real America, I had a professor on. Um, mixed race professor in his 70s, and he made a really poignant statement. I bet you'll agree with this. He said that Democrats are keeping the black community enslaved and blacks have now a victim mentality and they've been enslaved twice for 400 years first by the, the folks of this country and we all know it. It was a horrible period, but that's over. But then again, during the 60s and the civil rights movement, when the Democrats then shifted their tactics and acting like they were taking care of the black community, which they've now tried to say they do for 60 years, and make blacks feel like a victim. And he said it so, I'm not, I can't put words in his mouth, he said it much more eloquent than I'm saying, that 
because of what they've done now, the Democratic Party, they have made the black community out to be victims, and they are enslaving them once again for the last 60 years. And I'm going to find that professor's name that was on the show, but would you agree with that? Uh, yes, to a large degree. <clears throat> but let me be clear. The Democratic Party has just utilized the black vote. That's it. They don't have a black agenda. They'll put illegals first. They'll put the LGBTQ community first. They'll put other groups first. Why? <clears throat> because those groups, and I don't have a problem with them, uh, they get the Democratic Party to earn their votes. But the black community, the Democratic Party, they feel like they don't have to earn the vote. And all they have to do is say, well, you know, the Republicans are racist, and that holds the blacks on the plantation. But, you know, that, that used to be a great song, but it's not the number one hit anymore. Uh, the way things are now, black people are seeing through that. They want results. They want to put their agenda first, just like the president wants to put America first. Well, Democrats put, and historically have put blacks last. Blacks want to be put first, too. If you're going to ask me for my vote, if you want my vote, you're going to have to earn it. And how do you earn it? Through addressing issues from job creation, small business, those independent things. Democrats want to keep blacks dependent on them. Uh, they have that maternal, paternalistic instinct. Let me take care of you. We'll build you a habitat house, but not in our neighborhood. Uh, haven't I been taking care of you, been looking out for you, as, as Bill Clinton has said? And so that... That is victimhood. That is, I, I need you. I'm, I'm, I'm desperate. I need help. Uh, Makes him sound to, like a slave owner and trying to keep him on a plantation, what you just said. Clearly, it's that's disgusting. what it is, plantation mentality. Yeah. Um, How about we don't very, see color and we say, hey, we want to help you. Not we want to help the black community. How about we want to help you like Trump does? We want to help Americans. Let's create jobs for you. Let's get better neighborhoods for you. Let's get better income for you. Let's get better health care. Not for blacks, for brown people, for, yep, just for Americans. I hate how you, the left has to label. But if you want to be a little more specific, you do have to kind of chime in on, on blacks because, again, the issues and the policies that the Democrats put forth hurt black people. Right, good point. They literally hurt black people. School choice, for example. If you look at these failing schools, Democrats have set policies from failing schools. This particular time, with school choice where the president is pushing, that helps the black community. Vernon Jones, man, I wish we just could do the whole hour with you, uh, but they're wrapping me up. So insightful. Uh, you're a passionate guy. Man, you've got some big guts uh, to stand up and do what you've done. You're welcome back on the show anytime. Uh, I would love to have you back on after the next debate because we didn't even get to the debate performance because we had so much more to talk about with you, uh, but I, I, unfortunately we're out of time. So, Vernon, keep up the fight. Thank you for speaking up, and uh, God bless you, man. Thank you so much. All right, you take care. Uh, we are getting loud tonight about America's silent tech war with China and how communism is trying to once again creep into our great nation. Don't go away.